sorry about my uh, one thing I am not is a technical savant, so definitely thank you to Mr. Lewis and Laser for helping us through this. Uh, so we'll get started. I apologize for being late and technical difficulties. People, I, I imagine that you couldn't see me, but my argument would be all you would see is a middle-aged man, so I'm not sure if that's anything fun to look at. Um, I'm glad we're together at this time. Obviously, I miss uh, my Greenberg family, uh, colleagues, and of course, the students having fun and the laughs that we have every day. I'm um, especially thankful to Dr. Chase for inviting and setting this up for me. Um, today, I want to talk about regimen, uh, embracing the unknown or change, and trying to be the best version of ourselves um, when we aren't being measured or we're not being observed uh, or when nobody's watching. You know, sometimes that's an important time to do your best when, when nobody's watching. Um, for a short time, we're going to try to forget some of our peripheral hardships that are going on, because I know that there's a lot of suffering, um, a lot of questions that are going on, and all these types of things that come with this new reality that we're living in. Um, we are still racing and living in a world that doesn't exist anymore. Our inertia has sort of propelled us on this course uh, that we don't have. You know, many of us are at home. Um, we're questioning what the future is going to be like. We have all these different questions. And uh, we're going to take this time to try to maybe put that in perspective, um, have some focused breathing, and clear our minds the best way we, that we can. Um, that doesn't mean, though, we won't be living uh, in a world in the future that will be similar to what we know and, and get back to that. Uh, it probably won't be today. Um, I'm not a expert. I'm perfectly imperfect. I'm nothing special. Uh, this is just something that I do uh, to try to help myself, help clear my mind. If a lot of the people, uh, if you know me, you know that I'm constantly going, 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 and it's tough for me to sometimes slow down. Um, so maybe who better than myself to try to impart uh, whatever wisdom that I may have in terms of focused breathing or meditation. Uh, each meditation that I have, there is a theme. The last time that we met was a little bit different. Um, we were talking about different things and there was some similarities, but today there are going to be obviously some differences. And we we're going to try to focus on those things that I mentioned earlier. Uh, one of those being is regimen especially. Regimen is very important. We'll talk about that in a moment. Again, we're still operating with the same protocol that we did two weeks ago. And that is something that's past, that has left us, right? Um, and that's fine. We're still moving too fast. A lot of us are reeling from unemployment, food, are not trying to, uh, not being able to uh, find food, what we're going to do with our children, our children at home, maybe driving us nuts. Yes, too close for comfort. We want to get out of the house. All these things are clouding our minds. And sometimes we need to stop uh, and clear our minds and embrace some of these things as uh, painful or uh, uncomfortable as they may be. Yes. So with that old protocol that we operated under, nine to five, a regiment, all this, that is going to be replaced with a new regiment that we're probably going to try to develop uh, for ourselves. And maybe you'll include meditation as part of that regiment. Um, I definitely recommend that for you, especially people that uh, may be hyperactive like myself or need regiment in order to survive. Many of us are scared of the unknown or what the future will bring. Um, you know, in reality, we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, but guess what? 
even when we had our normal lives and things were normal, we didn't know what was going to happen the next day anyway. So in that regard, there is a similarity. The unknown is something that can be frightening to us, right? Uh, I always call this embracing the darkness. Embracing the darkness is something that is super important for any person that's embarking on a new journey, uh, a new skill set that they are picking up, uh, the unknown, discomfort, whatever it might be. It's very important that you sign yourself uh, over to this. You may not know the future, but you can know yourself. Uh, and we're going to talk about that shortly because unfortunately and fortunately, you are going to have to face yourself. And sometimes that's more difficult than we think. We can take responsibility for ourselves and try not to change others' thoughts. We can't control their thoughts. We can control our thoughts. We can control our regiment and our daily life for the most part, right? Because we're never really in control. It's important that you maintain a regiment daily. I know that some, speaking with some of our students or speaking with some colleagues and, and friends outside of our Greenberg family, uh, sleeping patterns, uh, getting things accomplished, exercise, sometimes this becomes neglected. And although difficult, this is something that we have to force ourselves to do to maintain our sanity and to avoid depression. Because this is a very, uh, this is a time that people are very susceptible to depression feeling down and unproductive and all those things are going to keep us in a hole and keep us uh, away from our best self so we're going to try to serve that purpose uh, and now more than ever we all have to find a purpose that we serve at home and with our loved ones with our families some of us may not have been tested like this you know being a social studies teacher this will be the biggest social studies lesson that any of us have ever learned this is probably for a lot of us the biggest event that has ever happened where we are faced with the unknown. What is the purpose here to survive, to reestablish connections? Is this a time to make amends with each other? Perhaps. The earth, no matter what you believe, uh, is showing us a sign. You know, I, I, don't, I don't care what religion, philosophy, politics that you're about. This is certainly a sign. Will we capitalize and make value of this sign that we're being shown. If we are not careful or mindful of our blessings, uh, where does this leave us? Where does this leave us? Are we going to make changes? Are we going to be our best possible selves? Being the best version of ourselves? That's the wake-up call. You know, this is the wake-up call. Even in darkness, as I say, we embrace the darkness, there is beauty. And we might not be able to see it yet, but, but we will. We do everything necessary not to confront ourselves for whatever reason that may be. And when we were in normal life, so to speak, it was very easy for us to ignore our own shortcomings, our weaknesses. Perhaps over imbibing in whatever it is that you are in that you indulge um you know you're talking to somebody that at times is very shallow and materialistic uh and that's fine that's fine um sometimes that's what we use to ignore what's really going on and these are things now that we can we can embrace shame failure depression, not having certainty about your career, whatever it might be, sometimes we ignore these things and we do not embrace them. Well, guess what? Now we are faced with this and something that we need to embrace. Now, when I was talking about uh, regimen, you say, oh, this is unnatural. Mm, that's nonsense. If you look at the natural world, there is order, there is a beginning, there is an end, no matter what you look at. If you look at the tree, we start with the roots, 
the trunk, we end with the leaf. If you look at the coronavirus itself, molecular, you know, in its molecular structure, you see what? You see there's a beginning and an end. There is a set pattern. And patterns are very important in nature, but also in our own lives. So I'm urging you to figure out a schedule and try to stick to it as best you can. It's super important for you to move on and fight depression or doubt or anything that you are facing at this time. I know that now there's uncertainty and panic sets in. You see a lot of people on the media that are filled with panic, with doubt. You see people hoarding things. You see people acting in all types of behaviors and exhibiting all types of behaviors that haven't been the norm. But this is the appropriate time to practice a regimen and practice self-control. If you look at special operators, special forces, Navy SEALs, doctors, athletes, people that are faced with sometimes chaotic situations, how are they able to perform? How are they able to be successful? There's one thing. And it's almost ironic that we're looking at meditation because meditation deals with what? Breathing. But here we're in a time of a virus and epidemic that impacts your lungs and your breathing. When you talk to a Green Beret, a SEAL, a doctor, an athlete, any one of these people, they tell you or they might tell you that they take the panic and they compartmentalize it. They get back to the breathing and the breathing is what allows them to be successful. Compartmentalization, in this case, is something that will be very helpful. So in a moment, we're going to start breathing. And we're going to sort of give, uh, excuse the hokey expression, but we're going to try to give a cosmic breath uh, out to others, our families and loved ones, people that are suffering from the virus, suffering from the epidemic. And we're going to try to breathe for our own fortification, but also for others. So when you are ready, I want you to close your eyes and I want you to begin to be conscious of any tension that you might have in your eyes are you squinting your eyes some of us that have RBF I won't explain the acronym but you might know what I'm talking about both male and female are you scrunching your face are you scrunching your eyes we're going to begin to relieve that tension from our eyes and let our faces flatten out. Are you grinding your teeth? Are you gritting your teeth? Are you, is your jaw closed too tightly? I want you to be conscious at this time of, of any pressure that you have in your face. And we want to let that go. Next. I want you to pay particular attention to your neck and your spine and your shoulders and with my voice as we move down your body I want you to try to let that tension cease from your existence I want you to be conscious of it and I want you to breathe it away next maybe your back, your stomach, your, your hips. Try to relax and let your face and your body settle. Maybe your knees and your ankles is the last thing that you think of about in your hips. Now I want you to focus on your breathing. I want you to think about breathing in and inhaling a very, very deep breath, a cleansing breath that is going to restore your clarity and your peace of mind. 
and I want you to exhale as much as you can. We want to get the bad breath, the bad spirits, anything that lies deep within your soul. We're going to picture visually breathing that out of existence, out of our bodies and out of our minds. Hopefully you're settling into your pattern. And you're getting into a breathing cycle where you can feel yourself become a little bit more comfortable. And aside from my voice, you are in tune with your breath. There isn't any panic. There isn't any negativity, there's just you and your breath. You might hear noise in the background aside from my voice. And like waves on a beach, they are going to come and go just like any problems that you may have or panic that you might encounter. That's going to come and that's going to go. Our certainty is that things will change. We cannot control it. We must accept it. And now, I want you to think about the darkness inside your mind. And I want you to embrace that darkness while focusing on your breathing. That darkness is there for you to create your own reality, your future existence, and the path forward away from panic, away from uncertainty, but towards productivity, happiness, and clarity. teacher and I now use this image a lot if you picture a glass of water and there's dirt in the water and each piece or particle of dirt grain of dirt reminds one of their problems or worries failures situations that they could have changed each one of those particles we're going to let settle to the bottom of the glass in hopes that we have a clear glass of water. Remember that there is no certainty, except death, of course, and change, and that's fine. That's something that is accepted and normal. And even though things are different at this time, 
there is some great value you may be forced together as a family with loved ones and sheer chaos going on at your house that can be a good thing too and perhaps when that is going on you'll be able to step back maybe you'll hear my voice or maybe you'll remember this session and you will try to embrace the chaos that went on because perhaps two weeks from now a month a year from now when we might or might not be back to some sort of normalcy perhaps that is a time and a memory that will forever be burned in our hearts and our minds and that will become something of value it might not seem like it now and that's fine too but in the future perhaps it will bear fruit I want you to spend the next minute in complete clarity just absorbed in your breathing Friends, when you are ready, I want you to open your eyes or not, but I want you to come back to me or come back to us. This might be new for some, and it might be something that you wish to practice or pursue. Uh, you can always email me at cfritz at greenbergcsd.net, or excuse me, .org. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. But I want you to remember that this is something that you practice and develop. Uh, it, at the very least, it will give you some time to clear your mind and give you a pause. I always call it sort of like a, uh, a control alt delete for life sometimes. When things are hectic and life is out of control, I find myself doing this in order to recalibrate. Please remember that the situation that we're in is temporary. It is always changing. Please remember to try to follow some sort of regimen. Uh, try to embrace the time that you have with your family because it is most likely after this is over we won't have such close proximity and good times that we're sharing with our friends and family at this time. Please be safe, be well, and if you need anything, as always, I'm here at your service. Have a good day.